Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Hey, been a little bit since I came on here because been a little busy, been a little tied up. Um, I told you sometimes it's a difference between a YouTuber and somebody who do YouTube. It's a difference. And so I do YouTube if I could do it, when I could do it, and sometimes I'm not able to do it. And if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, shame on you. If you do, then you see me post. I was working with a college basketball team last few days. But um, back home, and one of y'all DM me, and I really appreciate when y'all DM me. Sometimes I get to go through there. I can't respond, but I get to go through there sometimes. I see somebody sent me a DM of a young lady who she moved from her family i need to watch it again but she moved from her family to another state or country and moved in with this guy and after she moved in with the guy the guy you know stole all her money raided all her accounts and then used her car to buy a shovel and now she missing and it was one of the blog sites that posted about it but she met him on craigslist now, it, it seems to me that she may not be from here or I don't know, just may not be familiar with the internet as far as in the sense of meeting people because Craigslist probably, Craigslist, meeting somebody a romantic interest on Craigslist is worse than a dating site. You know, that's, that's worse than any other dating sites. Craigslist, that's never ever in your life do anything on Craigslist anymore. It used to be a decent, you know, thing where you could find business and buy things and but it's just uh it's terrible. But I wanted to use that example not to talk about her and, and him, but to remind y'all singles do not be desperate for a relationship. And I know you say, well, Tony, that's easy to say because you got a relationship. But what you got to understand about everybody in a relationship is that the grass always look greener. When you single, it always looks better to be in a relationship. And when you're in a relationship, a lot of times it look better to be single. I guarantee you there's so many wives that wish they could be single again and i guarantee you there's so many husbands that wish they could be single again now i love marriage i love being in a relationship and i, I love being in a relationship but i would not be desperate for it i would not compromise my common sense for a relationship and I compromise my ego and some of my wants and things of that nature, but not my common sense, not my morals, not my values. And here's the thing. It's unfortunate, you know, sometimes we don't know why we're single. And it's, tip, it's, it's, it's a reason sometimes, and sometimes it's internally and sometimes it's externally. Sometimes it's just a mindset and it's just how you look at things, you know, how you view the world. And then sometimes it's externally, just like your look or your style in your city or in your race is just not in season at that time. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not for surgeries and stuff like that. But if you feel like you get to the point to where you say, you know, something has in my genetics has made me look different and my look may be hindering me from finding love. Listen, you it would be better to go and get those veneers. It would be better to go and get that lipo or that gastric bypass than to settle for a serial killer. It will be better to 
take a chance on your cosmetics than to take a chance with your life in the hands of a stranger from the internet who just will accept you for you and knowing that they don't want you knowing that this don't make sense because here's the thing if it's your season to be in a relationship then you don't have to go online to do it like if it's not happening in person then you need to figure out why it's not happening in person because men are looking every day in person now and they say men ain't approaching women no more men approaching women men approaching women it's just the right man for the right woman that's worthy that's ready of being approached the right man is approaching the right woman if you're not getting approached then you need to look within you got to look at it and see okay is it spiritual is this God's protection or is this man's rejection because sometimes what a woman deems as man's rejection is in fact God's protection and sometimes it's the woman's projection. So there's a lot of women who can who attract men, but their preferences are so specific that they don't find anything in the man that they're attract, in the men that they attract. And then the mistake that a lot of women make is comparison so many women suffer from comparison and I want you to know and understand that you do not know me you do not know the other men that you follow online like you do not know how much our past weighs you do not know how you would feel if you met a perceivably good man and he had our story. You do not know what the, the men online who portray good men and whole men and healthy men, what our wives had to put up with or may be putting up with in this very moment. So you cannot ever compare the man that approaches you to the man that you know through the internet or the man that you used to be with, that you only had a piece of him, you didn't really know him, you cannot make those dangerous comparisons. Because if you do, you will be hurt. You will be hurt. And so, it's so often, and, I'm, and I'm, I'll just tell you as, as a man, to the women out here, listen, Stop worrying about looks. Stop worrying about looks. And I know y'all say, well, Tony, they ain't fair. The man worry about looks. The man worry about look. Listen, I ain't saying the man need to look like chewed up bubble gum. But if the man look decent, then hear the man out. Hear the man out. Because... We need families, we need marriage, we need all of that. But in this day and time, it ain't gonna come packaged like you think. It ain't gonna come packaged like you think it ought to be packaged. It ain't gonna come like that. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be, you're not finna get this six foot plus man with a perfect smile, with perfect skin, with perfect muscles, and everything clicking on all cylinders that's not going to happen it is not going to happen the man gonna have something to work on the same way you got something to work on and this the thing you can meet a man who is a great man okay the man might need LASIK all that man need is a little LASIK the LASIK eye surgery that's all that man need to get that eye straight 
listen. One of them eyes bigger than the other, he just need a little filler. He just need a little filler over or under the eye. That eye pointing that way, he just need LASIK. That's all that is. And okay, he got him a little stomach on him. Step master. He just need the step master. When y'all get together and hit it off, and y'all get y'all gym membership, he gonna get on that step master. He going to work that stomach off. Listen. Them teeth everywhere, Invisalign. If the orthodontist say, listen, ooh, listen, sir, this plastic ain't gonna do it. We're gonna need to put them wires in your mouth. The plastic ain't gonna do it. We don't have plastic strong enough for just the set of teeth that Lord and gave you. So listen, what we're gonna do we gonna put these wires in your mouth. Listen, that's fine. He'll get braces. He'll get braces. What I notice is so many women looking at men and just being superficial, but the man got a good heart. The man is a good man and just a couple cosmetic changes. And here's the thing. A lot of times when women be doing this, they be needing to lose 20 to 80 pounds. And I'd be like, listen, now, hold on, now, you can't hold this man with no, you know, uh, go through this man with a fine tooth comb, and then you want to go through your life with a big old wide rake. I'm like, no, now, don't be so specific on him now, because y'all could work together. Y'all could work together. Both of y'all could be on that stepmaster. Both of y'all need some braces. Both of y'all might need LASIK. A lot of time we can't see ourselves. But what we attract is a reflection of us. What we attract is a reflection of us. So listen. I, I heard somebody say that 70% of men are introverts. Somebody else said that men aren't approaching women like that no more so if men are already introverts and men not approaching what you think little ugly finna be you think little ugly finna walk up to y'all uh the lady y'all think is gorgeous no he ain't got that kind of confidence he ain't got that kind of confidence so guess what the man that's approaching you he feel like he on your level he feel like he on your level. Listen. And sometimes you just got to be humble with that. It's like me. I'm a married man. But if I'm holding my phone in my hand and I'm looking at my phone, you can't see my ring. It ain't no women that look like no supermodel checking for me. They ain't walking twice in front of me. You know why I'm 5'10". I'm 5'10". Them women want them a 6'2", six, 6'4". Six, women ain't looking for me. These bags under my eyes, wrinkle in my forehead. So listen, I got to be honest with myself. I got to be honest with myself. The women who shoot, they shot at me. Look like this bag. Look like this. The women who be shooting, they shot at me. I be like, Lord, my goodness, Lord. That's where I'm at. Oh, my goodness. And so I said it to say, well, I say that to say, what that mean is sometimes it's not a reflection of you. Are you right? Sometimes it's not a reflection of you. And sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. It's like, okay, 5'10 with a wrinkle. And I bags, this is what you going to. This is the type of woman that's double taking at you. Okay. The woman who everything perfect on her. She going by her business. She ain't double taking. She ain't slowing down. She ain't doing none of that. 
And so sometimes we just got to look and say, okay, well, what I need to, some things we can't change. Some things we cannot change. If I was a single man, I can't be six feet tall. I can't be six feet tall. So it just be is what it is. I have to take my chance and I have to shoot a shot. The, the men that's out here that's single at 5'10, they got to take their chance. They got to shoot their shot to that woman that they want. That's 5'8. And she got to get to know him and know his personality. And know that he could provide and take care of the house and all of that. And then he get a shot. But other than that, other than that, it really ain't happening really ain't happening for them guys so listen to the ladies don't get so caught up on looks don't get so caught up on looks because i done heard so many men and women say that they'll catch and it's like oh yeah you'll catch you look like an algae eater that somebody got to throw back. It's like, come on now. Let's calm down. Let's be humble. Let's calm down. Everybody look good in the sight of the Lord now, but we got to be humble and calm down. It's like in this day and age, 2022, if I had to be single, man, listen, I'm finna be humble. I'm finna be humble. I'm not finna be judging nobody like that with no microscope. I mean, with no magnifying glass, it's like, come on now. We got to get together, we got to work together. We got to get together, we got to work together. And it's a lot of time people, you know, people say how beautiful my wife is. My wife, she's always been pretty. She's always been a pretty woman, but guess what? She way more pretty now. She way prettier now than, than she was when I met her. Now look at this car all across the road and he oh he got them blue blockers on that's probably why he can't see y'all remember them blue blockers they used to have the infomercial my uncle god rest his soul used to wear them blue blockers them thing was so big oh the man had on he all in front of me in the neighborhood come on now gotta get on your side of the road with them blue blockers and so listen to me the thing is is we grew together so what happened is, boom, like today, she getting the lashes done. Boom, yesterday, she did a, uh, uh, like a cool, like a uh, laser hair removal and a uh, cool tone. You know, cool tone is like, it's like a machine that kind of work your abs and stuff like that. A lot of y'all, you be looking at people and you don't even know, like my wife do a certain type of, she did a facial and the facial was probably two, three hundred, but the, the, the treatment, the face wash and all of that, that the lady told her to get, the bill came out to 700. And I remember she went and did this other thing, you know, and the bill was 2,600 on her face. And she done that a few times. You do it like once a year. And so I say that to say, a lot of times you see skin glowing and you see, you know, all this stuff. People always comment, my wife, eyebrows, my wife, eyebrows microbladed. And she tell people that and she send her friends and family to the microblading lady. You want them perfect eyebrows? That's a lot of pain. When I used to have braids and that thing used to hurt my head because I'm tender headed. My mama used to always say, beauty is pain. I said, well, I'm finna be ugly then because this here hurt too bad. But beauty is pain. So you got to understand that just because you meet a person in a certain place don't mean they got to stay there. And I'll meet people and they say, well, well, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want, but I need to lose 50 pounds. Well, hold on now. Well, hold on now. Well, you need to lose that then. You need to lose that before you start looking. You need to lose that before you start looking. Because if you're looking and you need to lose 50 pounds, what you finna be attracting is not what you want. When you lose that 50 pounds, what you attract finna look totally different. Yes, you still gonna have a couple scragglers in there. You still gonna have your couple wide mouth uh, bass that scraggle in there. But overall, what you attract finna look totally different. Totally different. You hear me? Finna look totally different. 
I'm five ten. If I was a single man, you give me six two. What's available to a six two man who look halfway decent? It looked totally different than what's available for up to a five ten man. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I see men on a regular basis. That's five six five seven. That's five six five seven on a regular basis. And just yesterday, I said, Lord, I respect men who is, you know, shorter in stature and extremely confident. I respect that because the world try to beat up on them. I don't have that kind of confidence. I said just the other day, I said, Lord, thank you. I'm not 5'7". Because I don't have that kind of confidence. The men who 5'7", I guess God give them that confidence. I got friends that's that height and they confident. Married. Married, happy, strong. I'm not, I wouldn't have what it take because I care about too much what people think. And I think that's how some of, some of y'all might be. So listen, we got to get to a place where we work on ourselves. I'm finna get off this phone. I'm finna upload this video. And you know where I'm finna be at? I'm finna go get on this treadmill. I got a coach in about an hour. Just got off the plane. Just pulled into my garage. I'm in my wife's car. Y'all got to forgive me. With these kind of color seats in my wire car. And I'm finna go get on that treadmill. And I'm finna put that thing on incline. And I'm gonna put it on speed three. I'm gonna go between incline three and incline 12, whatever my hamstring can handle, because I done told my hamstring. And I'm finna walk it out. And I'm finna be walking like that every day that I get the opportunity. I'm finna be walking. So I go and get this stomach off of me. And I'm married. But I still want to look like a bill of health. I still want to look good as a married man. And so for y'all singles, you got to be extra motivated. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, listen, my wife married. And she want to get veneers. She want to get veneers. And she married. And, and now... A lot of people got veneers. Five out of ten almost got veneers. People who, you know, in that couldn't afford them, whether, whether they got the credit or the cash. Five out of ten getting veneers. Now, when they first started veneers, they used to look like chiclets. Now, they don't necessarily look like chiclets. Now, me personally, I don't think I'll ever get somebody else's teeth put in my mouth. And I know they're not coming from nobody else's teeth, like some of y'all weave coming from somebody else's head in India. But they still on top of your teeth. So, hey, if that's what you want to do, go right ahead. That, go right ahead. That's what you want to do. But you know how a good, how much a good set of veneers cost? Forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars. My wife then looked into it, and so guess what? That's the beautification. And she a married woman. She's not looking for no man. She a married woman. But listen, beauty is pain. It costs to be the boss. It costs to look. When you see these women and these men online that you think they look like a bill of health, a lot of them spending about three grand a month. A lot of them spending three grand a month. Listen, I, I go into the place where you do facials and filler and Botox and all of that. I go into that place. Cause that's the, and it's a, it's a high class place in, in the ritzy area. And when I tell you, you'll be shocked how many people and what the people look like. Sometimes some of the women look tore up from the floor up, but they be in there and, and that bill will be $6,000. You hear what I'm telling you? Like people out here spending on themselves. And so if you unwilling to invest in yourself i remember a lady came to me years ago and she said tony i can't meet no man i can't meet no man what's going on i, I sent her a questionnaire on the questionnaire do you get your nails done your hands and your feet do you wear makeup do you get your hair done all the answer was no and i'm like ma'am you chewing on your fingernails and you think you finna attract the husband come on i Come on, huh? Come on, huh? It's, 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 it's not. You, listen, we got to 
focus on ourselves. You got to focus on yourself. You got to fall in love with yourself. You got to get where you need to be first. Then you could be picky. Then you could be all selective. Then you could be all this right here with all these standards and all of that right there. When you get to where you're supposed to be. And when you get to where you're supposed to be, to where when you look in that mirror, when you get on that scale, when you read that book, when you look at your business, when you look at your career, you're not lacking. You say, I got, I'm gainfully employed, whether you got a business or you making money, my head on straight, my body where I need to be, my fashion where I need to be, everything, hair, skin, nails, mindset is where it need to be. When you get there, and that could be vouched for, your friends, your family, your life coach, your therapist could tell you, oh, you all in a bag of chips, you where you need to be, you relationship ready. If you still can't attract nobody, if you still can't get in a relationship, then that means it's spiritual. That means that's where God got you. It is one of my athletes calling me. God bless y'all. We'll talk soon.